Hi guys and welcome back to another Dort Race video and today we're going to be reviewing Wing Breakers. Now Wing Breakers is a racing first with a lot of carnage, shooting and mayhem all in the skies while you're trying to get from point A to point B. Now before we commence the review I just want to give a big shout out to Dare M for providing me with a copy of Wing Breakers to do for this video. Without you this video would not be possible so thank you very much. But without further ado let's crack on with the review. So let's start off with the graphics. Now the graphics in Wing Breakers are okay, there's nothing groundbreaking, but the planes themselves look pretty nice. The UI is alright, it's rather in your face sometimes, there's a lot of stuff to take in at once when things really start kicking off. But it's clean, it's alright, you can see what you need to see and that's pretty much fine. But what I will mention is that this game is re being recorded and being played in right now at 4K 60Hz and what I will reassure you is that there has been no drops, any stutters, or any graphical errors or glitches, which I'm really pleased to say. So great job to the guys over at Jugular. I think that's what I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but the guys who made this game, my apologies for pronouncing the name wrong. But touching base back on the UI, everything's there that you need to see. Sometimes it gets a little bit chaotic, like when you pick items up, maybe you shoot someone down, maybe you shoot a drone down at the same time. It does tend to stack up quite a lot in the middle of the screen. It can be a little bit ugly sometimes, but it's not groundbreaking and it's not really that off-putting. You can still concentrate on your race. The graphics are one thing, but let's talk gameplay. Is the game fun to play? Does it feel good? Is the handling nice? A mixed bag, to be honest with you. I didn't find that the planes handled as well as I would have thought they did. A little bit awkward is the term I'm going to use. Like Sometimes they felt pretty nice, but then maybe turning in some of the tighter angles. I could never find the particular part where I wanted to be. I'd have to end up like shaking the plane a bit to really find where I needed to be. So it's a bit inaccurate, but it's not bad in any way, shape or form. This is an arcade race, so you don't need to be taking this overly seriously. And you don't have to be an absolute pro to pick this game up and play. Now as far as the actual gameplay goes and it being fun and exciting, I would say it's a mixed bag from me. I've never been a big flying fan, but I'm giving this game a try, I did actually kind of have a decent time, but I couldn't muster up more than an hour's gameplay. I didn't really feel it was that compelling to continue wanting to play this over and over again. I did really want to praise the developers' choices when it comes to achievements. The achievements kept popping up on Steam, and I must confess I'm a sucker for achievements and trophies, so seeing them come up quite frequently and for doing some certain challenges and tasks was quite nice and very rewarding that did encourage me to play a little bit more than I originally planned. One thing I will mention is I absolutely love the shooting on these planes, from shooting the other players to shooting down the drones, and for me, that was the best part of Wing Breakers, and I actually will come back to play this game for the whole purpose of shooting down the drones. There was an objective where I did where I had to shoot so many down in one single run, and I've got to be honest with you, I enjoyed that part more than any of the racing itself. Trying out the time trial, just doing the racing alone wasn't for me, but shooting, blowing up the other players was the best part of this game, and I honestly crave just a simple time trial with just myself on the track or the flight path whatever you want to call it with the sole purpose of shooting down drones maybe the drones move maybe things get a bit chaotic where the objects and destructible items come up in the screen but i really enjoyed the shooting if i could get more shooting with these planes with the sole purpose of just shooting drones then sign me up because that was super exciting and i really enjoyed that part now for the most part of this game it is very simple, pick up and play, just enjoy it, this is your objective, this is what you need to do. But for some times I did find I had a bit of difficulties understanding what it was referring to. Such as this one, it's finish a night race, earn a medal. What medal? What, what am I supposed to be earning? I think I've missed something here. But there was a few confusing parts that I just didn't really understand. I also don't understand the purpose of the cows. Now, it's not just cows, there seems to be a bit of wildlife in there as well from bears and rams, but the whole purpose was is they get thrown up into the sky, you have to evade them and then roll off the corpses of, of these dead animals. Now, I understand it's a Monty Python reference from when they're invading the castle, however, I didn't think it really fitted in here, it, it didn't really make sense to me. Now, 
If you have some sort of distaste and displeasure and dislike for these bovine, maybe it's good for you, but for me, I didn't particularly enjoy it. But there is good news, you can actually turn this option off, and you can even increase the blood if you're that way inclined. But for myself, I wasn't a fan, so I did turn it off after about three or four races. However, if you do like the aspect of having some sort of object or distraction while you're racing and flying, I do have a suggestion which could be worthwhile. Now, the cows didn't work for me because they don't fly. How about if you change things from maybe chickens as you fly above a farm? Maybe a parachuter is coming down to try and hit his baseline. Maybe he gets caught up in your propellers. Or maybe it's just debris and rubbish such as bin bags and other crap that gets thrown around in the skies. Who knows what it could be, but I just think that would be a little bit more effective and make more sense rather than the cows. I do understand the comedic value, the Monty Python reference is funny, but unfortunately the joke did get stale rather quick. But I tell you one thing that will not get stale, and that is this nifty little feature I'm about to show you now, and that is a perfect track editor. I'm guessing that these are the tools that the guys from Wingbreakers actually use, and I've got to be honest with you guys, what a fantastic little addition for this game really smoothly and cleverly done it does feel like you're using proper tools here but i will be honest i have no idea how to use it it wasn't explained maybe there's a tutorial somewhere but i personally didn't see it but honestly this is really cool if you are very good at doing stuff like this and you have the ability to create things you can do this just by going straight onto your web browser and making tracks for wing breakers excellent little feature i think more games should include stuff like this I think this is really good it's a bit wasted upon me because unfortunately I wouldn't get the time to make anything like this. But also it is nice to have it there if I really wanted to push myself and possibly have a go at making my own track. Thankfully there's a lot of good people in the community and a lot of talented people in the community who have already made maps that are very enjoyable to play. So major props to the guys over at Wingbreakers for this very smart feature. Another area I would like to give props to is the customization. Now you can customize and upgrade your planes. You get a plethora of planes throughout the game you will unlock for doing specific challenges and progressing through the career mode. But getting extra skins and stickers is always a nice touch. And I didn't see any sort of microtransactions or any sort of encouragement to start spending, so that's great. I've always detested microtransactions, but getting back to the point, the customization of the planes is always nice because, of course, making the plane yours, upgrading it however you see fit for a particular objective or event is always a nice touch. And big props for focusing on this part. It's I, I'm a big fan of making things mine, so I'm happy to, to get some stickers on my particular plane that I've unlocked so far. And of course, it doesn't stop there. You can also chuck the stickers in your hangar on the floor. Now then guys, that's pretty much it for this review. I've pretty much covered all of the basics and everything that needed to be discussed. So I guess I'm going to conclude this video with just a final few mentions and a final few pointers. The sub hour that I've played of this game was relatively fun, but nothing particularly compelling that makes me really want to come back to it. And nothing compelling enough for me to start making content on this game. Would I recommend it to you? I'm not entirely sure, I would say. It's okay, but it is rather pricey for what it is. It's r roughly sitting around £20 on Steam, so I guess that's down to you to make that call. But I will say I did enjoy making this review, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So if you did, let me know in the comments section down below. Hit the like button if you really enjoyed it, and also consider subscribing for a lot more Dot Trace content. Thanks for watching, guys, and ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.